Hi! We are back from Happy Again Pet. Fernando, our chief tasting officer, is going to be really busy today because we are talking about collagen and we are tasting a lot of the products in different ways. So let me start with the story of why I founded Happy Again. It was due to my bulldog Tony that was a passionate skateboarder and he had arthritis in his shoulder. And luckily for me, I'm a biotech engineer and I worked in cartilage tissue engineering. Um, we built cartilage in the lab to test drugs um, and avoid animal testing. And at that time, I worked a lot with collagen. So I formulated Happy Again, just for Tony, to get back on his skateboard. And it worked really amazingly. In a week, he was back and fitter than ever. So that's just how I started to discover all the benefits of collagen. And I used it for my dressage horses for many years because these animals have, um, they like athletes. So you really need to do anything. They, they even got massages and acupuncture and, and they got a lot of collagen to prevent the joint problems. So um, we thought today that we talk about that myth of collagen because there is so much out there for humans, for pets, and I'm getting these questions all the time. Is it really worth it? Do you really have to supplement with collagen and why and what is it exactly? So we thought we're going to give you a little insight of that and feel free to ask questions. I'll cover a lot of stuff and we're also going to, um, to show you how to mix collagen, especially for your dog and what you can do with it. So in, in basic to start, collagen is our biggest protein in the body. Um, it is um, built out of amino acids, which are our building blocks in our bodies. And when we grow as babies or as puppies, the, the cells around the, in your joints are really close together and they're really active and they build the cartilage, which is the extracellular matrix. And the main component, component of that is, is collagen. Now, when we get older and we adults, with dogs that is around two or three, depending on the breed, the cells are moved pretty much apart and are not very active. They're not like our skin cells or our hair. So they won't be that active to rebuild this matrix and keep it in shape. So we lose the ability of producing collagen when we age. And that's why that is such an amazing thing to do to supplement. Now, if you supplement with collagen, you really have to think about why you're doing this. If you want to get really nice skin and the connective tissue in your skin is also out of collagen, you should take a marine collagen as a human to get better skin, um, but always take vitamin C with it. Now, why are you wondering why vitamin C? Now think about these, um, the scurvy, the seamen used to have, they lost their teeth because of, um, deficiency of vitamin C. That was because they couldn't build collagen without vitamin C. So they lost the connective tissue, just gave in, there was no matrix and the teeth fell out. Now we don't want that to happen. We do eat a lot of vitamin C anyway, but it is um, really good to, to supplement with vitamin C. That's why Happy Again has a dosage of vitamin C in each scoop. Now for your joints, the cartilage um, in, in, in your body, uh, would need a different type of collagen uh, with an amino acid structure, which is best from pork or um, bovine. Now, um, that depends on where you source it, but we source everything in Germany due to quality. Uh, and due to mad cow disease, I also really like um, pork. That's much better on the collagen side. So if you supplement collagen your dog for their joints, how this works is not like you, like people think you eat the collagen and that's going to be built into your joints. It just actually is a catalyst for the biosynthesis of your extracellular matrix. So you, you can see it as a, just like an ignition to uh, get the biosynthesis back into your body. Like there's a balance before when you're young, you build a lot of collagen and it degrades, but it builds more than it degrades. And then your age, and there's a point when that balance is out of balance. So you, you actually lose more collagen than you build. And what we see 
is um, that our skin gets saggy, we get wrinkles, unfortunately, uh, and we have a little joint ache. That's the same thing for our dogs. They might not get wrinkles. I mean, he's born with them and they're pretty, but um, they, they get joint ache and discomfort. And it starts very early on uh, before, before we see that they really limp. That is a very, very late stage. So I always say what, what is happening in the body is, is way, way earlier than we can see something. So, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today for your dog, that we actually have a puppy version of happy again. Here it is. So we want to prevent the problem with their joints. So they should live a really great life as long as they can. And we want to stop them from having these joint discomfort when they get old. So the puppy version is a lower dosage and it just is there for in their building phase to really make sure there's all nutrition so they don't have any deficiency. And we also add hyaluronic acid. Now hyaluronic acid is, is a moisturizing. It, it's really like, um, it's like oiling your joints, like around your joints, there's a fluid that gives the joints the moisturizer to be this really great uh, tissue that can cushion your jumps and, and that is really flexible. But to be that, it has to be moist. It cannot be dry and brittle. That happens when we age. It gets really dry and brittle and then when, when you see the bones hitting each other, if, the, if this doesn't cushion it, it's really painful. So the hyaluronic acid takes care of that. It's also really good for your skin. You, I think every woman knows that you put hyaluronic acid on your skin and you look amazing. Uh, and that's the same from the inside. It can moisturize that from the inside. Now, the other myth about collagen and skin is that a lot of cosmetic uh, companies are using collagen in their masks. I mean, it's great. You look really moisturized afterwards, but it doesn't have any long-term effects because it doesn't penetrate through the second layer of your skin. Collagen is a huge molecule. Now, there we come with the next thing many people ask me for dogs, why can I not just feed them bone broth and you know this um, bone marrow and, and they eat a lot raw diet, isn't there enough collagen in there? The problem with that is, Nando, you're not finished yet, uh, is that the molecule is so big and it's in their native form, so you, you don't really get the bioavailability, it doesn't get into your bloodstream. That's why we hydrolyze our collagen. Hydrolyzation means it's cut into smaller fragments of amino acids. You can do that enzymatically or chemically. Now we use the enzymatically as a more um, a gentle way without destroying uh, the amino acid structure. So that's our secret of, secret of the collagen we use because it's a really great process. Uh, we know that the fragments are um, bioavailable in your bloodstream within an hour. So if your dog eats that, you know, after one hour, he has 90% of the collagen that you gave him in his bloodstream, which is amazing. And, and that, will, that, that you will see in a couple of weeks. So that's the next one. While your dog is out of the puppy age, it's in the adult stage, which we typically say it's around two, three till seven, eight, depending on the breed again. So that's our happy days adult version. Now this is all really a preview. We, we're launching this in a couple of weeks, but I thought you will be the first to, to get to know this. Um, this is also a dosage that is to maintain the joint health. So in this stage of your dog's life, they still produce collagen, but it kind of the balance kind of flips and it can start earlier, especially depending on breeds like German Shepherds, Labradors, Bulldogs, or even if they, they work out a lot. So it, it's really there are a lot of breeds that are torn to joint problems, even smaller ones like Chihuahuas, they have a lot of joint issues. It's just that they get carried um, all the time. So you don't really, you cannot really carry around your golden retriever. So they, they, um, this makes sure that that balance stays intact. And then when they're old and typically they probably already have problems, um, we have happy again the original product, which has the highest dosage. And um, yeah, it really works. There are cases that some people ask me, oh, you know, my dog's so old, it's really bad arthritis and I don't see any effects. 
Well, the problem is this is regenerating or rebuilding the cartilage. If there is nothing left because it's already too late, it's, the dog is too old, for some event the cartilage is really gone and just bone on bone, it's really hard for a supplement to rebuild something when there's nothing. So it, it can still like use it as a little relief with the oil, oiling the system with the hyaluronic acid and it has glucosamine as an anti-inflammatory. But to really, that's why I'm always saying prevent and start early so we don't get into that stage when there's nothing left. So it's a kind of the explanation that sometimes it won't, won't help. Okay, now I think we got some questions. Oh, for humans, yeah, well, there's one thing about our company that I'm really proud of and I think that's very important. All our products are human grade. So the whole team is of course unhappy again or happy start, then a little younger. Uh, and they all take that every day. Now it doesn't taste very good for us, but you can mix it with a smoothie. And even our treats that I wanna introduce now, they have one scoop of the collagen in them in each, in each chew. This is not, um, a replacement because if you want to give your dog four chews a large dog per day then there will be a negative effect they will gain weight which we don't want we don't want more weight on the joints they should stay fit and healthy that's another thing to protect your joints from um, from getting discomfort is to really have your dog being active because if you build muscles around your joints you know that yourself you go to the gym uh, it help your back, it will help your knees because you built that muscle tissue around it that supports your joints. So Fernando is nearly asleep because I'm talking so much, I'm sorry. Here we go, now you can see them. These are our new sticky sticks. They're sticky, but they're really delicious. Uh, they're sticky because of the collagen. And because they're all natural, we don't wanna add anything chemical that keeps them away from sticking. You can still divide them, they're fine. They smell really good. It's with chicken liver. Do you like that, Mandy? Mmm. He really likes that. So that's one way of giving your dog a really healthy treat, benefits. Uh, during the day, traveling, like if you go away for the weekend, you don't want to bring the powder, maybe you, you just keep the dosage with this uh, once in a while. But just not replacement. It's not a chew. Where we come to the next thing many people ask me why are you not have why do you have a powder and not a chew which everyone does it's so much easier the dogs love it but 80 percent of your chew is inactive ingredients now inactive ingredients means you don't need that it's not active doing anything for your dog it's just gain weight like chocolate or anything we eat so if you see this i think it's easier to understand this is one scoop of the powder. Now, if you think about a chew size, which is this big normally, how do you think this powder gets into this chew? It won't. So it took this long of a, of a um, treat to get one scoop in. Because we wanna use so much active ingredients to actually have an effect and do something good for your dog, that's why we have a pure powder and we won't do a little chew. We will do what's coming up soon, a paste with a salmon taste for dogs that are a little bit picky about this and, and but there are other ways to feed a powder normal dogs love it in their food this this powder is actually 99 percent of dogs love it despite we don't but fernando will now see if he would like it in a different form so if you don't want to put it in your food and your dog doesn't like it in their food you could mix that with a little peanut butter, for example. It's also human grade. So you could do that too as a human. No, I'm not the best with mixing things here, but I'm trying. Sandy. So I'm pretty sure he will love this. And most of the dogs love peanut butter. Make sure it's organic and no extra salt added or sugar or anything, it's just pure. You make that yourself. Just put organic peanuts in a blender. And there it is. So it's um, easy. I'll answer your questions in a second. So here we see, what is the reason for older dog version? Oh, it, that is just, so the reason is for us is that the dosage goes up. 
If there is a, a senior dog that normally doesn't produce any collagen anymore, it gets a higher dosage of collagen. So it, it's really just a dosage that changes for, for the ages of the dog. So here we go, Nandy. Mm. Can you sit up so people see how you love this? Sorry, we put this in front. Come, sit up. You're really lazy today. Sorry, it's his job to, to eat. And he still stays in shape. So now you see, I just mixed the powder with a little peanut butter. Uh, and as you see, I can eat that too. Mm. Don't taste the powder anymore. If you like peanut butter, this is amazing. So that's one way. Uh, there was another question, if there's a subscription for the product, yes. We have a subscription so you never miss a dose and you don't have to think about it all the time. So it comes in a three month cycle depending on the size of your dog. And as I said, these products are really new. These new versions will come out in a couple of weeks and we have subscription for all ages of dogs. The peanut butter is really great. Now the next trick, if your dog does not like the pure powder in a way, would be um, salmon oil. That I'm not really keen on trying not for me. Let's pump a little salmon oil in here. Salmon oil has this, uh, most dogs love fish and it's really good. It adds some omegas. So you, um, so you get some, it uh, gets something nice for your skin and it's also good for the joints. So I'm not so prepared here in the kitchen. Let's see how that goes. Now we have a really nice, I don't know if you can see that. It's like a really rosé color. And I'm sure he loves that too. Do you want to try that? Should I clean your mouth maybe, baby? Mm. It would be nice if you could sit. No, you can, you, you want to give me five? Okay, here we go. You have to work a little bit for your job. Mm. Okay, now we try this with salmon oil. How's that, Fernando? Now I have to say that Fernando isn't the pickiest dog. <laughs> That's why he has his job. He kind of eats everything, but I'm sure if your dog like fish, that will be the option and peanut butter. They're normally two kind of dogs. So um, these are the two ways of giving happy again if your dog really has an issue with having it in their food uh, and with our new product. Now we had another really good thing that my daughter prepared last night now the summer is here we all hot uh, and and the dogs are sweating so i always like to make my own um uh, frozen treats which is super easy you don't have to be um really smart to do that you just put peanut butter little water if you don't like to do peanut butter you use pumpkin mousse that's another good way of especially if your dog has a little digestion issues and now in the summer with the heat they sometimes get that so a pure pumpkin mousse with a little water and add happy again and then we just put it 24 hours in the freezer and I'll show you what got out of it so um, and Fernando loves these too as I said there's not much he doesn't love so these a little Easter but um, my daughter made those in her favorite uh, ice cube oh, container I, I broke one already sorry but here you see a little bunny with no ear uh, so this is just peanut butter uh, I think we used four scoops for four of these big ones we used water and four scoops of happy again so each of these has one cube of happy again scoop sorry now see this and there is since it's not too much water you don't have to worry so much that they they get too hard they're pretty soft so it's really great for them when it's a hot day, you give them this as a treat uh, they cool down and they have their daily dosage of happy. Again, if you want a dosage that's higher, it's no problem. Uh, we just did this as a, uh, I can try the tune. Good. You want to have it all? No, just the ear. Huh? So this is another version now for um, the summer, which I can really recommend to do. And it's easy, it's cheap. You have them in the freezer and, and you don't have to spend a lot of money on treats. Although we do love our treats cooperation with, with Holy, this pure protein ones, they're really great. 
So you still have to watch your dog's diet because this is extra calories. If you don't move them enough and they just lay around, don't give them 10 of those a day. There will be a, um, there'll be a consequence on that. Yeah, so if anyone has questions about collagen or anything else, I know I talked a lot about the dog collagen. Humans should take that too. It's the same thing with mammals. My horses took it. Um, cats can take it. Uh, every mammal just, you know, it's, it's really good supplement. And again, this myth that people think that the collagen taking is the collagen that goes into your joints because people say, oh, who, who says that it really gets there? It doesn't need to. It's a catalyst that, that catalyzes your biosynthesis of your collagen production in your body. So you're just giving your body the chance to rebuild it. How many scoops for humans? So that depends on what you want to do with it. I'm preventing. I Luckily, I don't have any joint issues yet. So I take two scoops a day. Uh, my father, who is obviously a little older, he has issues and he takes four scoops a day because he has back issues and skin, um, uh, knee issues. So, um, but the only problem is that you have to mix it in a, in a smoothie because I will say four scoops a day, it's kind of hard. You have to really put it in something that you like. Orange juice works too. Something that is taking away the, um, that, that taste. Oh, maybe I gave you too much ice. Testing officers out of order, so here we go. Yeah, okay, any more questions about collagen? Oh, you can, yes, you can put in your coffee. Just there's another thing. How you measure the quality of collagen. If you um, have a pure powder product that you buy, the wider the collagen is, the wider the powder is, the better the quality, the more yellow, the worse. Some companies color the collagen. They put like blueberry or something red in it to mask that. The next thing is, how does it dissolve in water? If your collagen doesn't dissolve in cold water, the quality isn't as good. So I know that many companies recommend to put it in their hot coffee. Now, unless you boil it, it's probably okay, but collagen is heat sensitive. So I would not um, recommend to boil the, like cook that. It gets bitter, this is called the Maillard reaction with amino acids. It gets brown and bitter, you, you won't like that. But it's, it's an easier way to dissolve that powder. So yes, you can put it in your coffee, just make sure it's not too hot, but you should test the collagen you're taking to dissolve it in cold water and see if that's a good quality. It's just a quick test. You don't have a lab around. Uh, what is hydrolyzed? So as I said, collagen is a huge molecule that um, needs to be break, broken down if you want to get it into your bloodstream. Hydrolyzation means we cut it in smaller fragments to be bioavailable. So that we make sure that we actually get the benefit of the collagen, we hydrolyze it. And we use enzymes for that to make it a very gentle way of cutting a, a molecule in fragments. Compare the HEC collagen. So HEC, HEC to just explain, um, HEC is a company that we work with that are the specialists of any collagen. They like been in the business for 40 years before anyone knew about collagen here. Um, they producing a collagen for humans for their skin. So it's very much a skincare from inside. And they have a, a marine collagen with caviar extract. It's a caviar collagen, it's the highest grade you can find and it's really really remarkable for your skin like you I took that after my pregnancy and it's really helping your skin gets very elastic where you can check that is always here how quickly does it bounce back that's the elasticity that you want to keep in your body when you age so that is one thing that the hair collagen does it's not really targeting the joints so if you really have joint issues it probably will help a little bit but the amino acid structure of our collagen is really targeting the joints. Plus that we're not using just collagen. We have all the fitting vitamins, C, D, E, and the um, hyaluronic acid and glucosamine. So these are important factors for the joint health. HAG has also all the vitamins in there as well. 
Uh, any more questions for anyone? And we also had just released a video about that collagen talk, so you, you can always go back and, and listen to it. And I'm super happy to, to answer any, any question over email or social media. Uh, oh yeah, you can take both. There's another question. You can take the skin collagen and the happy skin collagen. I take that too. I take two uh, scoops of the heck and two of the happy again to have both benefits. The good thing with collagen is you cannot really overdose it. If he would eat the whole canister at once, there would be a little upset stomach, which we don't want, but that's the only thing that actually happens. So you, it just, if it's too much, it just leaves you. So, and I think it's, so you have to know that 10 gram a day as a human is just the minimum dosage to have an effect. Now with dogs, we dose it from five to 20, depending on the age and the stage and the weight of the dog, because we really want to have an effect. If you just want to like, prevent and keep on a good level, 10 gram is totally fine as a human per day, per day. Now we have another question. What are the biggest difference? What is the biggest difference between glucosamine, heavy joint supplement and happy again products? It's a good question because I know that the industry has been out for years with glucosamine and chondroitin. Now glucosamine and chondroitin are the part, are also part of the extracellular matrix, not as much as collagen, but they are there. Um, the thing is with glucosamine, the main thing it does when you supplement with it is it is an anti-inflammatory. So you really, if you have an infection in your body, inflammation in your body, like that happens when the joints having problems, like the dogs gets older, they, they get, a, um, they have an inflammation in their joints and that's kind of helping. That's why many people see results when they supplement with high dosages of glucosamine. What it doesn't do is rebuild or, um, restores the joints. It's, it mostly just calms down the inflammation in a natural way, which is great. That's why we have it added in happy again. So you don't have to add glucosamine to our happy again product. It's already in there. Now, if your dog is really, really in pain and has a, an acute um, inflammation, you, you might want to give them a higher dose of glucosamine or um, go to the vet and, and take a real medication if needed. I would always try to avoid it, but there are, sometimes it's needed. So yeah, I think I covered most of the collagen and I talked about half an hour about that. So I hope I didn't bore you. Uh, Fernando really enjoyed this session, I think, because he got all these little goodies here. A little salmon oil. So you see, I mean, he, he eats the powder pure too. So yeah, he's, he's easy to feed. But as I said, if you don't want to, if you cannot mix it with your food, because I know that some dogs are very, very picky. As soon as you put something in there that smells different, looks different, they, they don't eat it. And, and I know how worried we all are that our dogs eat. I have to say, sometimes the dogs regulate their own food metabolism and they don't eat because they don't want to eat. Uh, and that might be a good thing sometimes, but it shouldn't last longer than a day. So, um, yeah, you just mix it with some peanut butter or salmon oil or um, make these little treats uh, or just add a little salmon oil to the food and the powders just to take that that um, smell away that they might not like uh, and i'm excited to launch these products in a couple of weeks and you'll be the first to know and then we can all keep our dogs healthy active and happy see you next week bye